Okay, I don't know how to do the Hunger Games thing. But, I know how to do the Pythagorean Theorem. <laughs> oh, do you see my transition? I've never written a segue. But maybe I should. Because I just segued into that. Do you see what it is? I don't need to explain stuff. Okay, now, guys, if there's ever a time I mean business, it's when I'm wearing my Gryffindor jersey. That's what's up. Didn't mean to brag, but the shirt brags for itself. What? Let's learn. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm just going to give a quick overview. And if I talk too fast, guess what? You're watching a video, so you can rewind, pause, and go back and delete and do whatever you want to do. Actually, you can't delete it. You can just X off the page. What? Okay, so let's learn. Pythagorean Theorem. Now, this guy named Pythagoras, once upon a time, he was like, Yo, cool right triangle, let's make a theorem. That's exactly how that happened. Hashtag who? Pythagoras. Okay, Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay? You're thinking, wow, that's easy. I know my ABCs. Well, you don't have to know the rest of them because you just need to know ABC and squared. Okay? So, what these relate to are the sides of a right triangle. Now, if you don't know what a right triangle is, a right triangle is a triangle. It has three sides. And it has a right angle in it. It means it has a 90 degree angle. Which 90 degree angles are like the Michael Jordan of angles. Okay? Everybody wants to be them because they're always right. <laughs> oh, I know. What? Yes, he did. Okay, so, in this right triangle, um, the A and B, they're not really important. They're like Scotty Pippen and Dennis Rodman. It's like, oh, we talk about it sometimes, but really they're always shadow in comparison to Jordan. C is what's important. C is always, always our hypotenuse. That means that it always goes on the largest side, which is always the side that's opposite the right angle. The right angle is always going to be your biggest angle. That's because in a triangle it's 180 degrees. So if you subtract that one angle, you're only left with 90 degrees to share between two. There's no way you could split that off into two and one of them be greater than 90. It just don't work like that. I didn't make the rules, I did, but I did make this rule. I made this up. Okay? So, your C is always your hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse, hypotenuse, I'm going to spell some square one. Hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. If you want to think, some people are like, oh, look, the little box makes an arrow towards the hypotenuse. Well, those people talk weird. But they also are correct. So that's your hypotenuse. A and B, honestly, doesn't matter. Stick them on either of the two things left, which are called legs. You've got the hypotenuse, the legs. Okay? Leg, leg, and let's make this A and this B. Okay? That's it. You just set up a right triangle. Now, you're thinking, who cares? Well, <sighs> Your teacher does, and they're going to grade your paper accordingly. So, this is the Pythagorean Theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. How do I apply this to what you just told me? Well, let me tell you, boss. Let's say you have a triangle. Let's say this triangle is a right triangle. Let's say you've got a side length of 5, 12, and you don't know this. You don't know this. Answer. You don't know this answer. I don't know what I just did. It's a right triangle. I just made a right triangle. Oh my goodness. It's all connected. Okay? So, this is our x, 5, 12. Okay? First off, where's your right angle? Boom, right here. Where does that mean your hypotenuse is? Boom, opposite that. Does that mean it's A, B, or C? I'm waiting. Yell it. Yell it at me. No, stop yelling. Quit yelling. Okay? We're doing math. Calm down, dude. It's not like it's a chess game. Yeah, chess is intense, okay? Why am I getting off top? I'm sorry, just fast forward through those parts. Okay? Right angle, hypotenuse, is always opposite the right angle. Therefore, this has to be our C. Our C is the X right there, okay? So this is C. Do these matter? No, they do not. So that's A, and that's going to be your B, okay? Now, you're thinking, why do I care about the Pythagorean Theorem? What does it matter? Don't hit your watch. What does it matter? Well... Pythagorean theorem allows us to find that third measure in a right triangle that we're missing. We've got A and B, we don't have C. The Pythagorean theorem allows me to find that side that I need. The side that you need. Gosh, that's a voice. I know, right? You're like, how can he wear such an awesome shirt and have a voice of an angel? It's easy. Steroids. I'm just kidding. Don't do steroids, everybody. Gosh, Mark McGuire, I told you. He told you guys. Why am I erasing this? Don't erase the problem you're working on. That's rule number five. Okay, you're thinking, oh my gosh, this guy needs to be quiet. I'm going to watch something else. Well, 
before you go see about, you know, old Charlie biting fingers and foxes talking to each other, um, you're going to need to learn how to do Pythagorean Theorem. So, we take the equation, we plug in what we know to find what you don't know. That's my saying. I really didn't make that up. Okay, so, A squared, what do I plug in for A? 5. So, it's 5 squared. Our B is 12, so it's plus 12 squared equals C squared. Do we know C? No. Oh, it's X squared, okay? I'm going to mark that off so you don't get confused. We got 5 squared plus 12 squared equals x squared. Now, we don't care about this triangle right now because we are going to find out magic, magic, magic. We're going to find out what x is. So, we just solved the problem. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. x squared is, we don't know. That's why we're working the problem. Okay? 25 plus 144 is 169. Now, what do you do to get rid of a squared? What do you get rid of squared? Opposite of squaring something, they have the same name, squaring, square root. So, we're going to do the square root of both sides. That square root will cancel out that squared. Square root of 169 is 13. That means this measure is 13. Now, real quick way to check if you made a little mistake. We're saying this side is 13. What did I tell you in the beginning? Inception. What did I tell you in the beginning? This is going to be your longest side length. 5, 12, 13. Is it the longest side length? Yes. Does it kind of make sense? Yeah, 13 seems like it would fit right there. You've got a 5 foot, I'm saying feet because, well, everybody has them, right? So, um, 5 foot, 12 foot, and 13 foot, okay? That's right. If you have like a 5 foot and like a 12 foot and you get like 2,086, you probably screwed up, boss. Okay, so you might want to go back and check that. Okay, but does it make common sense? Sure. Is it longer than the other two? Yeah. So it works, okay? Now I'm going to do one more example, and then you can probably quit watching. If you go out right now, don't quit watching, because I'm, I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay? So, let's work the problem. I don't know why I pointed over there. That's Bill's over there. I'm like, Bill, sit, sit down. He's learning. Bill, sit down. Okay. I talked funny. That's cool. Okay. Let's do another problem, and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Okay, I've had kids in class that got upset because I didn't turn the triangle the way that they're used to learning it. They're used to learning it like this. It doesn't have to look like that, boss. It can be turned or whatever, okay? If you want to turn it back, you can. I don't care. But I'm going to work this problem how it's meant to be worked. That's 15 and... We'll make that 9. Okay, and this will be X. BT dubs, you know that famous like picture on the internet where it's like find X and they're like, oh, here it is. Yeah, well, that was on a right triangle. It's all connected, everybody. It's all connected. Why is my hood messed up? That's on you. Okay, so let's find that X. Now, first off, what's my most important part? What's the first thing I look for? My C, which is my hypotenuse, which is opposite my right angle. Oh my goodness, 15 is C. It doesn't, we already know what it equals. We already know that it equals 15 squared. What are we going to do? We're going to work the problem. Stop crying. Okay? So, A and B, doesn't matter. We'll make this 9, we'll make it A, we'll make X, B. Okay? Now we want to solve this. All right, can y'all see me okay? Sure. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Plug in what you know to find what you don't know. A is 9 squared plus B is X squared. C is 15 squared. Now we're just going to solve it to find out what X is. So we know what this is. Because that's what we want. That's what we care about. That's what we need to know. That's what we got to know. Alright? 9 squared is 81. Plus X squared is still X squared because we can't simplify that. 15 squared is 225. Alright? Now we got to get x squared by itself, so we get rid of what's on this side of the equal sign, just like you're working a regular multi-step equation, which I've got videos to... Alright, 81 goes over there, so we got to subtract it to get rid of it over here. 81 minus 81 cancels out, x squared stays over there. 225 minus 81 is 144, it's all coming together, it's all coming together. That's a song, One Direction, I'm sure, probably, I don't know who sings that, I just made it up. Square root, if they do sing a song, it's called Come Together, Right Now Over Me. If like somebody comes out with a song like that, I get all the royalties, okay? Um, cool. Okay? 
Square root of that, just like we did earlier, that cancels out. Square root of 144 is 12. And you got an answer. Now, does 12 make sense? Ask yourself, does 12 make sense right there? 9, 12, and the hypotenuse is 15. Is the hypotenuse the longest? Check. Are they all kind of around the same ballpark? Check. Is that the answer? Check. You just learned some math. P -p 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 theorem. What? What up? Thank you for watching the video. I for real, for real appreciate that. You know I do. You know I do, girl. Um, or dude, whatever. Okay, so, if you could, real quick, I'm going to run through. Check me out on Facebook. If you want, just type in Tyler Tarver. It'll pop up Tyler Tarver is okay. Or you can just go facebook.com slash Tyler's okay. Or you can just do fb.com slash Tyler's okay. Yeah, Facebook jumped on that. Got the fb.com. Good job, Facebook. Check me out on Twitter, Tyler Tarver. Twitter.com slash Tyler Tarver. T Y L E R T A R V E R. Blah. Check out Instagram. Just search Tyler Tarver. Once again, blah. I got our Tyler Tarver and everything except for Facebook. It's Tyler's okay. Did my best. Sorry, Mom. Okay? If you want, um, you can check out my website. It's TylerTarver.com. Or if you're on YouTube, you just click this. It'll take you to my regular YouTube page where I post videos that are less math and more not math. I try to be funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And then you go to TarverAcademy.com. It's got a lot of math videos. Try to organize them for you. Got tons of math videos. Little help videos. Some that are just off there. Some where I'm up here. Uh, look at me, everybody. All right. And then you can also click that if you're on YouTube. And it'll take you to my math channel, which is YouTube.com slash Sir Tyler Tarver. So if you're interested in math videos, got a ton of math videos on there. And I'm putting more on there all the time. So in conclusion, you just go ahead and go to the Facebook page. You know, be a, you know, click a like or whatever. Check out the Twitter, follow, and then you go to Instagram, you're like, ah, oh, whatever. And then you're going to go over here, and you're going to subscribe to this YouTube channel, which is just search Tyler Tarver. It's the only ones that don't have math videos. And if you search Tyler Tarver, it pops up this one. So I'm just going to wait. I'll just wait right here. Just wait right here for you to go do all those things. Just click it, and then it'll probably pop it in the window. Just, just go ahead and search. Get your phone out, whatever. You just, just wait. I really am going to wait until you go do all of the things that I asked you to do. That's all I'm asking. Just go do all the stuff that I ask. <laughs>